So it says a company is selling 15 widgets. So widgets, just some type of object, right? Five of which are defective, okay, meaning they're bad, they're not good. And it says, what is the probability that if you purchase four of these widgets that A, all four are good, B, exactly two are good, or C, at least two are good? Okay, let's take this one part at a time. So what's the probability that all four are good? Okay, well, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna figure out how many are good. Well, we know that there's 15 widgets, 10 are good, five, we'll just say are bad, okay? So we got 15 total, 10 good, five bad. But we want all four to be good. So how many ways can you get four good widgets out of the 10 that there are that are good? So that's gonna be 10 combination four. So out of 10 objects, how many ways are there to choose four? The order doesn't matter, okay? So that's why we're using combinations and not permutations. But another way to look at this also, and sometimes this is helpful for students, this might be helpful for you too, is to look at, we want out of the five bad ones, we're gonna be choosing none, okay? And what you'll notice here is that the 10 and the five, that's our 15 total widgets. The four plus the zero is the four that we're, that we're choosing, okay? But remember when you do probability, what you're doing is you're calculating you know, the number of success is what you want out of the total possible outcomes. And the total ways to pick four objects out of 15 where the order is not important, it doesn't matter, is gonna be 15 combination four, or 15 C4, however you wanna say that. So I did this uh, prior to uh, this video here, calculated this for us, and it comes out to, if you reduce it all down, to two thirteenths. Okay, so you can check your answer there. Okay, let's go to part B now. It says exactly two are good. So that means if two are good, that means that two are gonna be bad, right? Because there's four total. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same type of setup. We're gonna say out of the 10 good ones, we wanna choose two. And out of the five bad ones, we wanna choose two. And it's all divided by the total ways of choosing four widgets out of the 15. Okay, and again, I calculated this here for us before this video, and this comes out to 30 over 91. So you can check your answer uh, with that part B. Okay, and then the last one, part C, we have at least two are good. So that means at least, that means two are good, three are good, good or four are good. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that. So we've got out of the 10, we want two are good, so that's 10 choose two, and then five, uh, two are gonna be bad out of the five bad ones, over 15 choose four, that's the total ways of choosing four out of 15, plus 10 choose three times five choose one, over 15 choose four, plus 10 choose four times five choose zero, over uh, 15 choose four. 